Well, we can start at the very, very beginning. So this is Anime Studio. Um, it's sort of, Fahim described it as a, a 2D program. And at its core, it kind of is. You can you draw 2D vector shapes. Um, and it has a bunch of vector tools for modifying shapes and things. But it's really a 3D program, too. If I, um, I can grab layers and I can move them forward and back and then I can move the camera around in 3D, and so you can get all kinds of um, parallax effects and things that um, that you would get from a 3D program. Ooh. And let's do a quick example here. I'm not, um, too bad Victor's not here to, to rig something, but I'll show the basic idea. So if you, um, if you draw some artwork, okay, I, I'm gonna hesitate to call this artwork, but here we go. So. Um, and uh, I'm bad at faces, so we're going to skip the head, but we'll draw. Simple character. And then what we can do is we uh, add a set of bones to it. And the bones are something that the idea is very common in. 3D animation modeling, but not so much in 2D. So here I've just drawn some basic bones inside the character and I can immediately move them around. So it's it's really easy to set something up quick, even though this is a sort of a crude looking character. But then I can move ahead in the timeline, you see the little arrow down there, and I can start posing this character. And then I've got an animation here already. So I'm gonna quickly move away from my short and cruddy animation. <laughs> so something that somebody spent a little more time on. So that's, that's, that's a basic idea. Before you delete that, yeah. I, um, can you then also grab that root bone uh, in the center and move the entire object? Yes. Okay, so that's, that, that, so that's, that's how that. you, and you transform can, everybody along. It's right, so you can right. Uh, grab this and move it around and have it walk and things. I'm going to show you more stuff with bones because um, it gets a lot more sophisticated than this. You can also import images, so you can draw your artwork here in the program, um, or you can import images, and I don't know that I have an example of that, but that way you can get all kinds of hand-drawn effects if you scan hand-drawn artwork, or with photographs, you know, you have to, you have to encompass them walking in, across the... Wait, do you have to encompass them inside of that vector line so that you can animate it, or... No, you don't. Automatically impart yeah. vectors along the other um, Well, it works with an alpha channel of the images, so if you have the image cut out with transparency then it that that implies the vector outline that you're leaving right in there. Yeah, right. You can put images inside the vector outline if you want to, but I think people typically just Very mask cool. it out in Photoshop or something. So here is something that um by the way that's <laughs> cool artwork. <laughs> this could be better. <clears throat> Oops, I guess it launched a second one. So this is, um, it's animated, but this is some artwork that one of our users created and he used something we call smart bones. And this is another way of using bones as sort of control levers. So here I can um, rig a bone to do different things to the, the vehicle. So here it's, uh, oh, here's a one that gives it a 3D effect. So again, this is really 2D artwork, but um, he set up this bone so that it gives a perception of a 3D rotation, and you can combine all these together. Um, I'm show this one actually. It's more of a character than. So this one has the, the bones in the body like I did with my little character. 
But in addition, it has these control bones set up outside that do things like eyebrows, eyes. So then if I go in here and I want to animate this character, I can say I want the eyes to move to the, the right or the left. And so by moving the bones, I get an animation of this character. So these are the, the basics of bones. I think I'll probably move on to an actual animated. Bones are always set up with IK? Yes. Well, we render it as a movie, um, 
Animate does have an option to export Flash, but we have so many features that Flash doesn't, can't support that it's usually better to do a movie. Um, that's fine with me. <laughs> <laughs>
frame by frame animation thing might be perfectly fine. Right. Uh, if it's just a leaf waving in the wind or something like that. So you're showing now that that's physics, that's, built, that's a simulation that's built in down in the studio. Right? Yeah, I didn't really have this ready to go, but I wanted to show it because it's, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> this, so this one sort of. Um, So that's a physics simulation that's running right now in Anime Studio. Um, we could export that as images, or if we had a, a way to export the skeleton, then maybe you could run the simulation or something like it in Unity. Right. So, so you, you don't export uh, uh, bones quite yet, or do you? We don't. Yeah. Right. But that's on the, that's on the, on the horizon. It's on the. We want to learn more about this stage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm not sure. I'm talking too much. <laughs> I think it's great. It's awesome. I you think see yourself using this. Well, one thing cool. is like being able to put the same bone structure into like similar characters that are different. So if like it's like those two characters are roughly the same shape, but they're different from each other. Yeah. Are you able to make the same bone structure and put it into different characters? Um, generally, no, and it's sort of a funny thing about animating bone structures in 2D is that in, if you want to create the appearance of 3D, you sort of have to sort of shift your character at a funny angle. So this character looks like he's facing a three-quarter angle, but really all that's happening is this bone is slightly, the shoulder is slightly higher than this one. And so depending how you set up your character, you can't easily translate from one to another. Okay. Um, but, I mean, I said that, and these guys actually can. So this guy here, um, we have this character wizard. And as long as you stick with um, the character wizard, it can generate a variety of things that are short or tall or long or short arms and legs, and, and they can all um, inherit animation from one another. So this one comes with a walk cycle, for example. And, and that'll work for a character with different body proportions to the character wizard. So if you could use the character wizard to generate the basic skeleton and then get rid of the artwork and put it in your 